So if I were to take my, my finger, which is you know fairly clean, and go over the dry section just lightly, I'm gonna get some blue, right? Now I'll take the next finger and go over the part where I had hit it with water, and you can see it's not picking up. I can see there's just a touch there, but I had laid down the pastel the exact same all the way across. So once you hit it with water, it still has that like chalky kind of feel to it, but it kind of almost sets it down into a more permanent state. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you while we're having this view here, and I mean, this is just gonna be part of what I do. Like I showed you uh, with the other uh, kind of squiggle line that I had put onto that uh, scrap piece of paper. This right here uh, is the, the dry section. So that I know will erase, but the wet section, the lighter section does not really want to move. It might pick up a slight amount of pigment over here, but I won't actually, sorry, I have this underneath it as well. I'm trying to make sure it's nice and flat. I won't actually pick up a ton of pigment until I get to the darker sections. It'll pick up a little bit more on this side than it will over here. The other thing to note is that the lighter sections don't really want to reactivate. They might start moving once you get further into having more pigment kind of down. So uh, and that's, you can see there's just a little bit of blue getting uh, touched onto that, but it's still not moving a ton now that it's already fully dry. But the areas that I already have like a ton of pigment down, that will reactivate a little bit better and I can spread that around a little bit more than the, the really light areas. But I will say, you're not gonna be able to do any kind of lifting like you would with normal watercolors over here. It's, it's kind of pretty set in. It's gonna be staining your paper.